Hey folks, a rational loser here, and today's survival Minecraft. We scour the end looking for some wings. We traverse through a bamboo forest to find our next building area. We add a massive mob farm just for some fireworks. So let's get into it. So it's time for us to go end busting. That's going really loud. I need some ender pearls. Though. So let's get to this. So as I was saying, it's time for us to get some end busting done. We do need to go and find an end city with a ship so that we can get an elytra and get some wings on us. So let's get through this portal. Bones is waiting on us on the other side and hopefully we find our end city fairly like, quickly. That was random. Hey Bones. So we need to go over there. And hopefully we go over there safely. Perfect. Now I do want to get some of this chorus fruit as well. So we need to shoot off the top here, the flowers, and then break the bottom. Like so. And that will give us the flower, which allows us to replant them and get some more. Let's head off this direction and hopefully we find a, a, a village, a city fairly quickly. Now I am going to be playing with shaders throughout the rest of the series because I do like shaders and it does give that wee bit extra to the look and the feel of the game. I mean at the moment it's a 2009 game and honestly this just adds so much atmosphere, makes it feel a wee bit more. Now I'm not 100% satisfied with the end shaders. I feel they're a bit too dark and the purple is a bit too intense, but I do like the shaders in the overworld and the nether. So if you could tell me how to brighten this up, because I do like the brightness of this, but I, I love the atmospheric feel of this. Oh, I don't have any blocks. Okay, looks like I'm going to need to mine all the loads of stuff. Oh, there's a portal. Right, two and a bit stacks, I think will be enough. Get us across, hopefully, safely, bones. Right, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. I see an end city. Does it have a ship, though? I'm gonna say no. This just looks like a singular tower. Oh. That's annoying. Let's go and get us some shulker shells though. So this, this should be at least profitable. Right, so we got five shulkers from that. That's not too bad. That'll let us make a few of these things. Uh, do I not have the shapeless on? Oh, I need chest, that's why. Need wood. Yep, there we go. I do. Oh, look at that, we have two shulker boxes now. So nice to have, honestly. Right, let's go and find another one. Right, let's try and go north this time. See what we can find this direction. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. Oh, uh, yep, now so. Uh, I need a box out. Do you know, I really do hope we get an end update soon. Because, do you know, it's just so bare and so barren. I think I fell in love with modded stuff a wee bit too much, but I do feel it needs an update. It's been far too long since we got an end update of any kind, so like getting even a small one would be nice. Oh, oh, this is a biggie. Now, does it have a ship though? I see the gate, and there's the ship. We have a ship. We have wings. You don't realise how much you actually miss an elytra until you don't have it. It just adds so much ease of travelability. Oh, aye. Go away. You walked right into my line of sight. Oh, are you joking me? That's funny. Why did it keep teleporting away? Come and fight me. 
Like, is this a bug or something or a glitch? Like, they shoot and run. Or is it because of the dog? Thank you, Bones. That's so nice of you. Oh, I bet you it is because of him. I bet you they're actually running because of Bones. To be honest, that would be extremely funny if they were. Oh, I think I overshot that there. Oh, no, that was a good shot. Oh. Another city just over there. Right, let's grab them. It's got, that's what it is. Bones, you're not coming in busting with me again, mate. You're costing me a head. You're costing me shulker shells. What have we got in here? Some iron and gold. You shovel. Oh, wow. But you, you are what I want. Right, in here. Get these chests. Ooh! Got spire armor. Trim. I think that's the one I really, really like. I wish I could, like, preview this. Oh, that would be really nice to have. Right, I think... I think it's time to get bones somewhere. Oh, hello. Right, I hear you, you're there. Ah, oh, there. In fact, where is bones? Bones! I know, I hear you. Just come here. I need you here for like two seconds. Down. Thank you. Right, you sit there just now. I'm going to go over here. And we're going to see if they run away. No, they're, they're running. They have better AI or something? So it's nothing to do with bones. All I'm gonna say. Wow, that. Ooh, no, no. Thank you. If I build an ender farm, mate, you are definitely not coming. Where'd I go? Ah, you're there. Right, you're just really doing my head in now. And I looked at it. Like a right idiot. Oh, there's another. Oh, we've got this. Right, let's get our wings on. Bones, let's go for a fly. And get these out. And we will head over. Oh, hello. This direction. Right, Bones, you do follow a wee bit. Right, do you. As a ship. Yes. <gasps> Two wings. Lots of endermen. Spire armor one. I think I'm gonna need to invest in a shulker farm. That's gonna be a pain in the neck. Especially with these guys just like teleporting away every two seconds. What have I got? I've got 12, so I've got at least another six. So that's fine. Right, where did that one there? Right. I think we're done. 
So I think it's time we go and find a way home. I don't think Bones came home with us. Either that, or he's back at spawn. Which would be really annoying if that was the case. Just shows you how much easier it is getting about with Elijah. I mean, even though I have the nether portal network, it is so, so much easier. Hey, Bones. So yeah, he spawns over at the... How are you still getting out? Oh, what well, goes in my mind? Oh, no, I wanted to come here anyway. Because I need to pick up this stuff. Because one thing we are going to need lots of is paper. And gunpowder and a whole lot of other stuff. Uh, but no, it's more for rockets. I will probably go through a load, a load of rockets doing all this. So I need to get some other farms up and going. One being a mob farm, one being a <coughs> sugarcane farm. And we need to get them set up fairly quickly. But another one thing we do need is some bamboo. Bamboo. So I need bamboo. And I have absolutely no idea what a bamboo forest is. I'm going to have fun finding this. Seems I have one fairly close. And when I say fairly close, it is 2,000 blocks in that direction. 2,000 blocks in that direction. Well, may as well get flying. Really? I see a jungle and I see a shoot of bamboo. Okay, so I didn't need to go 2,000 blocks. That's handy. I only needed to go 500 because that's all I need. Don't need a lot. Uh, it's more just so I can set up a bamboo farm as well. Oh, wow. Um, I think I found one. <laughs> Uh, I think I might set up a bamboo farm just here. Who knows? Don't know yet, maybe. Uh, I mean, it's not too far away from spawn, so that's good. But yeah, I kind of want to um, stick to the, the feeling of biomes being specific farms and things like that. So, jungle, bamboo jungle, um, feels kind of nice. Especially, like, just to have a village for bamboo and cocoa beans and stuff like that farms. So, this is going to be the farm area for bamboo. Now, I want bamboo for just ease of building. Yes, I have the wings now just to get me up and down. But until I get a Mending 3 book... It's going to run out really, really quickly. And I've lost bones as well. Unless he's down there somewhere. Who knows. But I, the bamboo is used for the scaffolding. I don't know if the scaffolding mob farm still works or not. But that's how I would get our gunpowder. So it's an easy farm to do. And I do like it, it's simple, it's simplicity. And plus I have it out here as well, can I mix it in a nice kind of feel.
And as it cleared, we now have a flat area to build a mob farm. Now it's going to go all the way up, but I want to encase it in something that I find quite cool. So I'm going to jump over here. I've set up a nether portal. It does connect to the roof. Oh, thankfully. And I want to build an Aztec temple around it. If you've ever watched El Dorado, the cartoon movie, and you see them throwing the gold into the water as a sacrifice to the gods, I kind of want to put that up and have a big basin of water. So this whole square is going to be the basin of water. Oh, there's an ocelot. And then I'm going to put four modules around it. One, f two for sugarcane, two for bamboo. And it's all going to fall into the basin. Come to the middle where the, the mob farm is. And like, obviously the mobs will drop down. They'll get killed by the, the campfires that are here. And then this will all get flushed to a sorting system. I do have the Hermitcraft mod which allows me the item auto crafter things. So I'm going to auto craft scaffolding, firework rockets, and have two modules of that. I'm going to have a model of sugarcane and bamboo, and then a module where all the mod drops are. And then it'll just be the entrance coming in, which comes from over where the nether portal is. That's my idea and thinking. So I need to start collecting resources to build the mob farm and hopefully the Aztec temple as well. I doubt I'm getting it built this episode. I'll probably start that on a live stream. So remember, go and follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash irrational loser. The link is in the description. Go down, click it, hit a follow, and you can see me whenever I go live. But I need to set up the auto crafters because I have no idea how these things work. So I need to go build a few and <laughs> And then figure out how these things work. To craft the auto crafters or just the crafter, you need droppers, redstone, ingots, and crafting tables. I can make 16, that's way more than enough. I really don't need many more than that. Uh, but I am running out of rockets. This is my last 54. I'm going to need to get this set up really, really quickly. And I'm going to need to mend my elytra as well. So I'm going to quickly do that and then I will head back over. I will find out what I need to set up crafters, the auto crafter stuff. I know there's composts and comparators involved, but I have no idea. So one of the first ones I want to build is for paper. I need to figure out how I'm going to work this. I want it to get done quickly as possible. So I need it to pick up the sugar cane, which will be in our water stream. And I need quite a bit of space for this. This is the middle. Dropper hits here. Water will be flowing from here along. So from here, I want it to pick it up as quickly as possible. I need it to go into the crafter, which I need base out this way. I need a redstone locking system in place. So I need the item filter here. Oh, I'm going to need more redstone torches. Is it this one? No. So it needs to go down further. And then four like that. That in there. Top of 41. That has one spare. Perfect. And then I can click this all off. And then we come to here. I'm going to need to go sleep in a sec. And then we put a repeater here, uh, redstone dust, and then we need to actually put that there. So that's fine going into that. I need a barrel here, a comparator coming out this way, a comparator coming this way, into redstone dust, into a repeater. And then I can connect all that up. And now I need the item filter. So this is kind of similar to the sorter, but you need a filter. All right, so you need a lot for this. So whatever item you're not really going to use or something you can get massive amounts of, I would say bamboo is going to be really good for this one, but I'm going to use dirt to begin with. So you need to literally half fill it 
and I mean half fill it. So the last stack has to be half a stack. All right, so half filled. That has turned it off. See, I'll show you. I'll take one out. No, I'll take no, I'll take none out. I'll put that back in. All right, so half filled. I come to the filter, throw that in. It doesn't make sugar, it makes paper. And it won't go until... Oh, I've just found a... Well, I just found a bug with it. Ah. Okay. Now, the, the one that I've found, more resource intensive, it takes two crafters for it to work, which I thought, hmm, bit costly. Whereas I can get infinite amount of bamboo or something. But, so that should be the right amount. I don't know if I've got any sugar cane left actually. Going to need to borrow from our sorter. Right, I have five. There goes one. That's not locked at. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's the amount you need. That's not too bad. And that's just for this. And this will make paper for us. So I now need this to go into another contraption, which to be honest is gonna hurt my brain. I need that to go into a chest. I need more hoppers. I need observers, which I should have. In fact, I'll just use the barrels. I do. Need some more redstone torches. I'm going to need a lot more observers for this. This will need another item sorter, but we'll get to that in a second. Right, so I need that to go into barrel, but no, I need that to go into a hopper because of the way the redstone works for this. I don't want it to break any other redstone crafter. We need that facing this way. No, I need that down one. So crafter, uh, I need more hoppers. One into there one into there. I then need another barrel. Uh, I need an observer. Facing down into this, uh, I need a comparator. I need that, which needs a block above it and a block below it. This needs a repeater. One into this. Two comparators coming out of these hoppers. And then I need torches. One there and there, and a piece of redstone dust. I used it all. I'm really going to need to go back and get a few extra things. It done. So I need to put the crafting recipe in now. So I need paper and I need some gunpowder. Right, I had to go all the way back to the raid farm for this, but that's that. So that will make us three flight one duration rockets. It will not trigger until both of these torches are turned off. So if I take that out, the paper goes in here. Oh, I'm guessing it needs a lot of paper then. Oh, so that's good. So it's got a protector. So until that fills up, because I think if I put one in, it turns the torch off for like a second. So that's good. So we have a protector protection thing for that. I do now have to set up an item filter for this, so that's not a problem. It is on the same level. So awesome, that's that done. Uh, this will spit out the firework rockets here. I can then get that on its own path up to a wa the water stream, which will be over here. And that's that sorted. So we now have automatic paper and automatic firework maker which is amazing one thing we're going to use a lot of i mean i'm down to 39 rockets now i need to build one of these i need to test this as well because they did use a note block for this that might be a thing should be fairly easy to make a note block i have a lot of wood there we go and i think because it unpowers or something that did that go off That did. Right, well, that didn't set that one off, so that's good. Right, I changed this to a repeater because that's what they had. Hopefully it works. I can put all this paper in now and not have to worry. That'll fill up. That'll go to a stack every single time, which is good. 
And I think that's it. We should be good now. So every time this drops items, it'll flow down where it's supposed to flow. And then we'll go fireworks crafting. And now I need to do it for scaffolding. Now, I don't know, because I think this only works for two. I would, hmm. Give me a second, I need to go test this one. All right, I'm testing this. It works, but it's confusing. So obviously we're not going to get like massive amounts of like string. We might get four pieces of and again with 16 pieces of bamboo coming in. So it will slowly fill up and then we might get like a massive amount of bamboo coming in at one point, say 20. It will fill up and then obviously not everything's going to get caught by the, the item sorters. So it will still work, it's just it might break every now and again if I load it and a load of bamboo gets knocked off but I'm not going to have that much bamboo on the farm it's going to be a small amount so I think I think we figured out so this design will work on the premises that we're not going to get a massive amount of items popping through and they won't be going as fast as this well the clock will but they'll be dropping down before they go off so it will be a bit slower mm. I mean, the only thing I can do is just try and then hope that it doesn't break. Right, that's it done. Quick move. It will work fine now. My issue is the barrel overfilling. Uh, yeah, we need to put the barrels away just in case. We do need to put that out again now and then do this again. Yeah, my, my issue here is the barrel overfilling with the... the String. They can overfill with this, no problem, because we need more bamboo, and I'd rather have more bamboo than string. Right, so I now need to set up the item filter. So the item filter's working. Yeah, that's pretty much the auto sorters done. I only want those two things auto sorted. Well, three with the paper. But yeah, that's it done. I love it when a plan comes together so well. Now I just need to make sure this is secure and that no air into water gets through and destroys any of the redstone. So apart from it being a disaster, I really do not want to try and fix all this. Right, perfect. That's that all safe and secure. Yeah, I did realise that if anything breaks up above, because there's going to be a lot of water above all this, I'd rather not take the risk. Right, that's that. Done. So we have auto crafter for rockets. We have auto crafter for scaffolding. Both things are going to help us immensely in builds for all of this world. And now it's a case of building up the mob farm.